So we're starting a new project today. We did this project, oh, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 years ago. And what we did is there's a video where we updated this from an old system to what's out here now. And that was kind of a mess. And now we're updating it, not because it's a mess, but because technology changes. We've got uh, some old fluid mesh radios and they're good radios, but with everything that's in the sub six Wi-Fi these days, we've got to do something different. So we're going to uh, put in some Seclu radios. And what we're going to do is we're going to have, uh, well, I'm not going to give up the total capabilities of that, but we are going to have a link here that can support up to two gigabits. So stand by. Hey there, how are you today? If you're new to the channel, I'm Sean with Accent Alarms. I have about 25 years experience designing, installing, and servicing quality long-lasting automatic gate systems. By automatic gate system, I mean I work on gates, gate operators, cameras, access control, and wired and wireless connectivity. And I've recently added video production to the list of things I do. I'd love to get your feedback, good or bad, down in the comments section, and please take a second to click on that subscribe button. It really helps us out when you do. Keep your head on a swivel and be safe out there. So here's what we're starting with. We've got this enclosure that we put in 11, 12 years ago, and I'm gonna move that around and put a bigger one in to support the uh, additional equipment we've got going in out here. Um, we've also got up top an FM 1100 and an FM 3100 radio that went in years ago and we're going to upgrade those and uh, kind of run a combination. We'll use the fluid mesh as a sector 120 degree antenna to collect a bunch of cameras and then we're going to do a backhaul link with the Seclu and then we're going to swap out this uh, MPEG-4 camera for a uh, HD camera. All right, so we're gonna get started. First thing we're gonna do is put up some uh, Unistrut so we can mount our new enclosure. And uh, we won't do step to step on that. We'll just cut off here and uh, we'll guess that you guys all know how to use a bandsaw and cut your Unistrut. So just a little update. So we got our Hit Z anchors by Hilti. We use a two part epoxy those things will never come out and that's what we want we don't want them heaving up and uh, and then we're gonna slap some paint on there so we don't have rust in five years dripping down there making it look all nasty so that's where we're at we'll uh, let that epoxy set up so I'm getting ready to put a piece of four inch rigid up to hold my vertical PTZ my Dawa PTZ. You can see that's some pretty thick stuff there and I'm gonna lift it up over there. So let's take a look at what we've got done so far. So we've got our vertical piece, two pieces of uh, double strut, 90s at each. We moved our antennas over to the new structure is considerably more sturdy than the last one. Last time we just kind of piggybacked on what was existing. Now we, we built our own. And you can see I'm getting ready to switch our electrical over. I'm going to mount that. We've got a DIN rail up. And we're going to keep plugging away here. So sometimes on Friday afternoons things don't go as planned. I don't know if you can see that, but the sun rotted that fluid mesh radio that's been on there for I don't know how long, but we weren't quite ready to replace that yet. The plan was to keep that in use until I could replace the other end. But fortunately I got a spare radio, a brand new FM 1200. You can see I've made some progress. I got my switch in. My new cables are pulled and tested and I would have been close to heading out of here until that happened. 
So we're back after it today, and to be honest, it didn't start off much better than Friday ended. Uh, what we went to do here is hook up our Seeklu radios to discover that uh, our Belden RevConnect connectors that we had tested and verified on Friday actually aren't going to work because we can't get the waterproof connector over the top. We also tried our Panduit Minicom connectors. No success with those either, so we're going to have to redo these connectors up top using our Sentinel connectors. So I've cut them off and here we go. They're bonded pairs so we have to use this Belden tool to strip them out and put that tin tape on there, heat shrink, and I've got a video on this if you want to watch it on the different type of connectors. I'll put that link below but you know basically redoing the work we had done last week. So you can see we're just rebuilding these connectors. Got the Sentinel connectors. Gonna test this before we uh, get too far along. Put some heat shrink on there with my Milwaukee heat gun. Those are a nice little tool. Not great to do a bunch, but for onesie twosies, it really works out handy. Now we're back on track. I got my Seeklu radio mounted, and I've got my rough alignment tool out. What we'll do is we'll put that in there and get it as close as we can, and then once we fire the radio up, we can use the software to fine tune it. Um, it's kind of hard to see there, but you can look through that little tube and aim it at the far radio that's just over the black building there on the horizon of the screen. We've got that dialed in, and now we're just tightening things up, and we'll uh, get to the other one, and we'll kind of wrap things up here for you. So basically what we did is we replaced the plastic, or I should say the fiberglass enclosure, and it used to sit this way, and we rotated this way, and of course we used our Hilti Hit Zs and our two-part epoxy, and we extended this strut out, galvanized double strut, braces on both sides again. We put a piece of four inch rigid in to keep that PTZ from uh, shaking in the wind, and uh, put a new enclosure on the other side. You can see we got a pair of uh, Seeklu radios and a fluid mesh radio up top that uh, kind of collects our data from a bunch of different locations. And then we shoot that back to the head end on a Ether Hall 610. And we do have one location where our bandwidth is considerably higher than the others. So we're doing that over a point to point link with a Seeklu 500. So if we walk over to the other side here, you can see we uh, put up a Hoffman concept panel, got our padlock lock on there. Oh, no, I just locked it. Stand by. We got our Hoffman lock on there. And what we did is we put a high PoE uh, Dawa switch in there, industrial, DIN mounted, and grounded everything, put a receptacle in, See, we used our Belden RevConnect connectors on our Belden cable. We've got everything labeled, and that's about it. Nice and clean. Job's not done till the cleanup's done. Vacuumed it out, and we're about ready to head out of here and move on. Hey there, I'm Sean with Accent Alarms. Keep your head on a swivel and be safe out there.